Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. We're so glad that you're joining us for this episode of the 10 Weather Impact Show. We got Marinair. See what hey, I did there? Yeah, I love that it. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have a little rhyming on your own Monday, right? I know. Yeah. We need something to get us going because yeah, I don't know about you. Going. Getting up was so tough this morning. <laughs> yeah, eh, it's every Monday, right? Right. But yeah, everybody helps. is here. Yes. And if you're still in bed and you have the day off, you're very lucky. Yeah, but, you know, we have a little bit of sunshine out we there do. today. So it's nice to enjoy a little sun, but we are also talking about some rain chances. We had, of course, over the weekend, right. some of those slow moving showers and storms and maybe a little bit more here this week. Yeah, thankfully right now, very minimal counties in our viewing area under flood watches mm -hmm. still. Athens County is one spot that still does. But for the rest of us, we are going to see a very unsettled pattern start today and go into the next couple of weeks. Yeah, but after that, you know, we're talking about some uh, big changes. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. going to get super hot in here. I'll tell you that much. Hey, but we're ready. <laughs> Summertime, we're ready. I know, right? <laughs> well, it's been feeling like summer. It is going to be muggy and warm for us this week, but we're going to continue to have these chances of showers and storms as I'll show you daily. So what is our impact as we look at the forecast for today? There is a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. They are more isolated in nature and you'll see that in just a bit when I walk us through the hour by hour. But if you are hoping to get a golf round in, I know a lot of dads were out there yesterday and a lot of the courses did good because the showers and thunderstorms were more few and far between. I would say today and tomorrow it's fair conditions because we still have that chance of pop up showers and storms and you don't know if that's going to be where you are at. But then as we go into Wednesday, we're going to have to watch as well. But let's talk about the dew point because if you're like me, your hair has probably just been feeling crazy the last couple of days and unfortunately isn't going to get much better. You can see we get very humid both Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to get a little uptick in those temperatures with our dew points in the 70s. So that'll be a little bit more of that uncomfortable feeling. You know what that's like when you're outdoors. So if you are planning on mowing as well, I would say the next couple days aren't looking the best. Now, Monday and Thursday, a little bit more of an isolated chance of showers and storms right now. So that's honestly when I would pick to get the lawnmower out. So if you don't do it today, just wait. And this weekend, you can definitely do it, but you just have to take some breaks in the shade because it is going to be very hot and very sunny for us. But let's walk through the hour by hour forecast. Again, you can see going through our afternoon, we'll start here at two. We are expecting some pop up showers and storms. Again, more few and far between. And you'll notice we do have some breaks in the clouds. So that's why overall I would say a mostly cloudy day, but we will have some peaks of sun come through. That's also what could make the atmosphere a little bit more unstable and ready to pop some showers and storms up. So even as we go into tonight, you can see that's certainly what happens. If everything stayed on this current track, we could see some storms maybe or heavy downpours rolling through the Columbus Metro around seven. Again, I always like to give an hour before and after sometimes with these model forecasts. They do a pretty good job, but just something to keep Keep in mind in so don't be surprised if you wake up tomorrow morning and you do have those spots on your car. You know, after you go through the car wash, you get a little bit of rain, you're going to have to do it again. But as we go into Tuesday, speaking of car washes, there's a little bit better of a chance you can see for some showers and some rumbles of thunder in your forecast. Here's two. And then as we go into four, it does look like we could have a few more showers and storms fire up than we're expecting this afternoon. And then as we go into Wednesday, overnight could have some rain. Does look like most of the heavy stuff stays to our south, but we're still a few days out, so this could shift a little bit more north for us. But then as we go into the morning, a lot more isolated in nature. You'll notice we get some very good clearing on Wednesday, which is not good if we have a system coming through because that could also allow for some showers and storms to fire up. Some stronger storms could have heavier downpours and pretty powerful wind gusts, as we know. But you can see that most of Wednesday right now with the latest model trends is looking to be with sunshine and it is going to be pretty warm out there as well. And then as we get into Thursday overnight, you can see a line comes through right now. It is something where we might have a few stronger storms out there, but keep checking back with us and we'll have a little bit more update, especially tomorrow on the line and the timing with that. But for today, again, I'm going mostly cloudy, but there are going to be breaks in the clouds and have that sunshine. Still going to have the humidity with the dew points in the 60s, 84 for the high. And again, that chance of showers and storms a lot more isolated in nature uh, versus anything else. Tomorrow, a little bit better chance around the commute home. And then Wednesday right now, it does look like it could be dry most of the day. But with the sunshine boosting our temperatures up into the upper 80s, and then we cool down a little bit, but you're going to want to enjoy that because as we were just talking about, Aaron, for the weekend right now, I mean, the heat creeping in. And here's the problem when you have the um, 
the feels like or what our body would react to, the heat index could get up into the triple digits, and that's pretty yeah. dangerous heat. Yeah, it really is. I mean, we're talking about those actual temperatures around 90, the dew point temperature getting up into the 70s, just creating more Ugh. of a tropical feel. But that where's heat index, beach? yeah, if yeah we're where's the, the beach? If we're tropical weather, I want the beach. Yeah, hey, you got uh, you know the lake not too far away, right? That's true. Let's yeah. go to Lake Erie or yeah. Buckeye Lake. I mean, yeah. whatever is your fancy. Yeah, cool off in the water. The water temperatures are still in the lower 70s, so maybe that's the way right. to do it here this weekend. Uh, but yeah, just keep in mind we are talking about that heat, so it could be pretty dangerous here by Sunday and even after the seven day forecast going into early, the following right. week uh, may still see those temperatures into the 90s. So we're watching that closely, but also you mentioned Wednesday you're tracking that line as storms coming right. in Wednesday night, kind of following a falling apart, weakening as it gets here. So that is good yes. news. Um, but that whole complex is going to be creating some severe weather further to our west here uh, for today. Actually, this is the severe weather outlook across the Midwest. Going into parts of Minnesota and Nebraska, there's actually a level three risk of severe weather as they could be talking about some damaging wind gusts, some hail here today, even a few tornadoes. Now that severe weather th uh, threat does shift a little bit further to the south and east going into tomorrow. This is the same storm that's going to bring us the potential for some storms as we go into late Wednesday and Wednesday night. But as we look ahead to the overall outlook, the Main risk for severe weather is going to stay to our west, so that's good news. The overall timing with this, I think, is in our favor because it's going to be happening overnight. Now, we have a low end potential that a couple of those storms could still be strong. It is something we are going to be monitoring here um, at 10 TV just to keep you a heads up. Uh, just what we're, the overall pattern is going to be as we get into our Wednesday and Wednesday night. But it does appear, Meredith, it looks like that storm system may be weakening. Right as it gets closer to us here for Wednesday night. So good news there. I like that news. Um, and hopefully uh, we don't see any more storms and hopefully we don't see any more uh, heavy rainfall because that has been a reoccurrence over the last several days. We've had flash flood warnings and uh, communities in northern part of West Virginia are actually still picking up the pieces after a lot of flooding following some severe storms wow. triggered major flooding and have led to at least five deaths in that region. The West Virginia governor is now urging everyone to stay away from those impacted areas. He also declared a state of emergency for Ohio County, West Virginia. Not only is there debris on the roads, um, some of those roads have washed away. It's just very dangerous. So we're pleading for everybody to please stay away. This is an active disaster area. The roads are damaged. It's unsafe for you to be there. Wow. Yeah, and that state of emergency will allow for more state resources, including the National Guard to help in the county's re rescue efforts. Flood watches are in effect across West Virginia and even eastern parts of Ohio as additional storms are expected here today and even going into tomorrow. And switching to climate, we're actually learning how more energy needed for AI data centers could actually have major impacts on the climate. So now joining us is Jesse Mitchell with today's Climate Report. We're keeping an eye on the climate. Here's what you need to know. The Environmental Protection Agency announced it is revoking rules to curb carbon pollution from fossil fuel-based power plants. The agency claims these plants do not significantly contribute to air pollution, but electricity generation made up more than a quarter of carbon dioxide emissions in the U.S. last year. In fact, if U.S. power plants were their own country, they'd be the sixth largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. As the federal government looks to roll back environmental regulations on industry, Texas announced it intends to build more than 100 new gas-fired power plants in the next few years. Developers say the energy is needed to support AI data centers and the tech industry, but the climate impact could be massive. If these projects are built, they could add more greenhouse gases each year than 27 million cars on the road. Advocates warn this would lock in pollution for decades and put more stress on communities already struggling with extreme heat. And finally, a first-of-its-kind move from the island nation of Tonga. The country is poised to recognize whales as legal individuals. Tonga's princess says whales deserve legal protection as sentient beings, not just resources. The bill gives whales the right to life, migration, and a healthy habitat and establishes a system to appoint representatives to defend those rights in court. That's your Climate Watch. For the latest on climate and environmental news, go to cbsnews.com and follow us on Instagram at CBS News Planet. I'm Jesse Mitchell in New York. 
such interesting stuff. Yeah, really interesting how like those AI data centers, I know they take a lot of energy and stuff and that their overall right. impact on how many, uh, you know, comparing it to how many vehicles, you know, emit those uh, pollutants. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, things uh, shape up over the next uh, couple exactly. of years. And it's hard to believe the summer solstice begins. Well, the first full day of summer will be on Saturday, we looked this yeah. up because it happens late <laughs> on Friday, but yeah, uh, ten, around go, 10 figure, 40 go figure Mother Nature is bringing in some of the hottest weather we've seen this year. This yeah, weekend. hey, it's, it was bound to happen at some point. Uh, just yeah, but stay cool out there uh, here this weekend, especially on Sunday as we're talking about highs in the 90s and the heat index may be around 100. Yeah, plan ahead if your yeah. kids have softball games, soccer games this weekend. They might get canceled with the heat like that, especially if they're in the afternoon. But yeah, we've got you covered. We'll keep an eye on That's it. That's right. Stay hydrated, stay cool, and uh, just enjoy the week. Absolutely. Well, I know you're having fun with us, but that is it for your weather update here on 10 TV Plus. Now coming up tonight later at 6, we have meteorologist, Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz will be in. Until then, you can always catch more news and weather online at 10TV.com. We hope you have a fantastic start to the work week.